Somebody asked me to do a vlog about them say 50% of Jamaican children are jackets. I have daddy duty, I have my youth them with me. So I'm walking around my house right now. Come here, try to get some space to do the vlog. Through them one play outside, me have to come outside too. So here I am. And I guess I walk around the house with me while I talk about this look a bit. Alright, so shut this up. This is all I gotta say about that. Poverty and des poverty breeds desperate conditions, right? And Jamaica is filled with poverty. But I've said this before also, I've seen I've seen countries where poverty is even more than Jamaica is, yet still the people don't the people don't lower themselves their standards to the levels that uh, uh we're doing in jamaica so i'm scanning that online 50 I'm of jamaican children are jacket and i'm saying 50 percent is a lot but what if we really test it some people are gonna say i'm so damn ignorant and so disrespectful why would i say something like that right because 50% is very high and of course it would make Jamaica look very bad but what if we really was to test it and find out say it's about 60% and not really 50 would people be offended still because here we are run Jamaica these days the culture of uh, the culture of give me something James. I run Jamaica these days hey, look at James bars everybody you see me doing a video man Really? Right? This kid. Everybody at party. Everybody partying. Everybody drinking. Consuming a whole lot of alcohol. Uh, promiscuous sexual activity. The funny thing is, all the people, all the girls, them will cuss the girl. And I say, I'll who are in she take holy for man. Even she herself will cuss the other girl. And I say that. Underneath it all, quietly, I take holy for man. Her damn self. So, and, 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 and it's, I mean, it's like an epidemic, really. And people are so easily bought and sold. Then you have the worship of material things and then the want for material things. Of course, uh, this comes through what? Outside influences, like, let me see, like the internet and see the storm shot that I'm still up on the house. Supposed to take, it's supposed to have one big sliding door here, so this have a bedroom sliding door. So I would slide out that sliding door there, and then the living room sliding door over here, so and they both would lead to the patio. But because I wasn't here for a couple of months, and it was uh, storm season, she left the shutters them on. We took off one up there, so to make some light come in our house in the daytime, and we kind of feel comfortable because see, I'm a backyard open like this. I don't know who running up over here during the night time. I mean, then would I get full up a gunshot, but still, the chances of you don't know who watching you in the night. But no, like, anyway, the worship of material things is one of the reasons why. And we can we can all talk about how this is affecting Jamaica on a whole, as far as crime rate going up. Because here you have these young people, young women, young girls becoming mothers really early. I mean, in Jamaica, you, know, you have like an epidemic of 13, 14, and 15 year old where I breed, you know, and I keep, you know. So here you have, and then you have grandmothers in you know, them late 30s, early 40s, to rotted. So <laughs> you have this coming up. Them, they don't know what to teach these kids. They don't know how to discipline these kids. When you and your mother buck up a party, and your mother still young and fit enough for them on her head, a bubble. Right? A man are jumping our crutches and the daughter say that. Or, or, or she tell the daughter, say, make sure say, make, make sure say, when you look a man, you look a man with money here and them kind of something there. You can only imagine what the outcome of that is going to be and how that is going to affect the country on a whole. So there's so much of that going on in Jamaica because that is what it is. We can talk about how it affects Jamaica as far as crime goes, how it contributes the how it contributes the deterioration of the country. Period. It's, it's just a it's just a sick cycle right now. Just a sick cycle right now. Yes, mommy. Huh? Charlie, Charlie, yes, 
Say what, mommy? Say Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa, yes, me. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Like that? That's what you want me to say? That's it? No. What else? Uh, tell a lies. T I don't know that rhyme. You say it. Tell a lies. Tell a lies. Open, say open your mouth. Open your mouth. And then you open your mouth? Open this. What's that, your juice pack? Yep. Okay. So everybody's she, gonna get a go. You gotta look in, in you gotta look in here and talk to them. What you gotta say to the people? I I want to chuck your cheese and mother to a night. And I went to the shop a leaf hawk and I say ho and my mommy got me chocolate and McDonald's and I go play at McDonald's. But my shorts did the baby slide. Oh. Now, want me to open your juice so you could be on your merry way? Yeah. All right. This is our juice. She had to drink them go-go juice here. 100% uh, fruit, apple and pear, sauce on the go, all natural, gluten-free, none nut, none dairy. So hold daddy camera. Hold my camera for me. Hi. Nick, Nick is holding the camera right now, so I don't know what you're seeing. You might be seeing like her ear or something. All right, here's your juice. I opened it. All right. Say bye, people. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. So let me close this vlog out by saying this. Yo, let's see how my face look tired. I've been running, man. I've been running. So let me close this vlog out by saying this. The whole epidemic in Jamaica of these young baby mothers breeding these emotional young little boy crime rate up nobody is able to teach these kids because your parents are too young and your parents just themselves wasn't old enough to practice or learn self-control discipline um all these things anger management skills and all these things somebody said to me um don't jamaica have like planned parenthood stuff in place for all these young ladies and these things resources I really and truly don't know I've heard of but when it goes right back to what I was saying in the beginning because listen when you're hungry see and opportunities are limited nobody know I hear about no Planned Parenthood people want to hear <laughs> People want to hear about, yo, me a party and get rid of some of my sorrows. And it turns into partying every day and then you meet some foreigner youth, a party or somebody will fly out on a regular a party and him tell a little pretty girl, say, yo, I can buy her this and him can send her that and make her feel good about herself and she get caught up in her that and before you know it, she breed. So here she is and then Jamaica's consent, age of consent is so young. Huh? Okay, I am. Go, I'm coming. So she wants me to take her to the party and I'm the only one that takes her to the party. Either me or her mom. So I'm going to party right now. You're a mess of people. So I'm going to end this video here, sir. I want you to leave your comment in the comment section below. Statement that what you think about the Jamaican kids are a jacket. What you think about, allegedly, because I still haven't heard it. What you think about um, the whole talk we just have just now about how this... The young the deterioration thing. of our cultural values in Jamaica. In front of my house, me there, me I go inside, go take my daughter to the bathroom and all that. It's so Flow TV, man. We just decided to do one quick, quick vlog because, as you see, when I have the kids with me, I can't really sit down in my filming area with proper lighting and vlog and them thing there. So I'm just the one on the go phone, right? All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Catch you on the next vlog. Oh, we have some nice vlogs that come for you. I just haven't edited them yet. We have, I have three. Stay tuned. I'm out. Peace.